Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Weebly Boons Cradle. How are you today? Today is a happy Sunday. The sun is shining so bright. And best of all, Francis is coming home today. I can't wait. It's going to be a long bus ride for him though. Um, he is coming home by bus. It's a lot cheaper that way. Um, gas is so expensive where I live. It's um like a dollar eighty two point nine per liter. I'm in Canada, so we go by liters, uh, not by gallons. Is that what the states go by gallons? Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, we go by liters. Um, today I have a couple of dolls I would love to show you. They are alternative dolls in the spirit of Halloween. Um, I do love alternative babies, and I've collected them for many years. I do enjoy them. I don't show them very often. I would love to show you a couple of dolls that were made by my friend Erin, and she is Candy Love Sparkle on YouTube, and she has talent, you guys. She has beautiful talent for reborn art, especially her alternatives. She is wonderful, and I, I'm looking at one who I don't think I've shown on my channel. I'm not even sure. I think I have the box opening, and that's it. So, and same with my other one here. I think I only have, I don't even remember a box opening. I'm not even sure. Let's get into it. So here is one of the alternatives that um, I actually did a trade with Erin and I um, in trade of two authentic kits back in the day when I only had authentic. Um, she, I also gave her this third kit and I told her feel free to create anything but I know I did want her crackle effect. So this is like an antique um baby. She did um she dyed this in tea actually and that's what gave the antique look. But her details are wonderful. And by the way, um I have this one as a boy. I named him Dar and Dar is from the movie um, Beastmaster with Mark Hamill, I think. The original Beastmaster from the 80s. Now, in the movie, Dar was... Like, in the very beginning of the movie, Dar was a baby and... Um, <laughs> okay, this might sound disgusting to some of you, but... It's a fantasy movie and um, there was an evil magician or witch um they didn't call him that in the movie the movie is based in the medieval times and the baby was stolen from the mother's womb into a cow's womb and <laughs> that's why that's why i really appreciate this the way this baby is represented because this is dar from that movie Beastmaster. <laughs> so Erin did this wonderful painted hair and I love the crackle. I don't know if you can see. She was um I think I'm pretty sure that her crackle effect has improved. She was just practicing but um I I still love it. And I love how she roots so realistically. I love this baby. Even though I haven't shown him very often, but like his legs. Beautifully done. I love this alternative baby. <laughs> oh, I love him. So for him, I have like this antique looking vintage type sweater. They didn't have many clothes for babies back in the day. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little big on him. 
that's okay. It has to cover him, keep him warm. Um, I don't have any booties as of yet, but I would like to um, find him some booties. I do have these pacifiers from McPherson's that I opened recently, not that long ago. And um, I think the brown one is wonderful. I also have like this could match him looking vintage with this pacifier which is perfect and now for a bottle a vintage type bottle I do have this glass with just I know this isn't vintage but see you can see my saran wrap so I didn't do a wonderful job these latex nipples are very hard to steal like for a long time because what I used to steal is silicone, so silicone like text don't really get along. But um, I also have this mason jar bottle, so which I've also put saran wrap around, but I did a better job. I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I love Dar. He is wonderful, and he is one of my alternative babies. Next, I have one more to show you. <laughs> now, this little blonde guy, he has <laughs> beautifully blonde hair. You can't, it looks so messy on camera right now, but he is so cute. He is alternative. He was made by Candy Love Sparkle by Aaron. And I named him Joxer. Now, before I show his face, I would like to tell you that he is like a hybrid baby, half clown and half human. And this is what he looks like. He is so, so cute, I think. And he has a little piece of candy in his mouth. And he is so adorable. And... His feet may look realistic, but he does have a tattoo. It's an inchworm with following some little tiny balls of food. But I love him. He is my alternative. He is the, I think he's the George sculpt by, I forget who. I want to say Ping Lao, but I'm not really sure, but I love his red on the knees. I love his chubby little feet. <laughs> and he is so cute. He loves his candy. But I named him Joxer. So this is Joxer, and he came with quite a few clothes, actually. So he is a big baby. Ooh, I'm not even sure if he's magnetized. Let's find out. So this is Joxer, big, big boy. Yeah, I'm not even sure if he's... No. I don't think so. No. But he does have really cute candy sucking on. I love him. He is so sweet. Let's see. See if I could lower you to take a better look at him. He is gorgeous. I think he's so sweet. Um, I also want to show you a couple of things I've got from AliExpress. Um, a few craft items. I bought more of these rings, and they're smaller ones too because um, I tried making these rattles. Now, this one's not too bad. I made a thicker rope, but like this one, I made it too thin, too small. So, now with these smaller ones, I can make smaller rattles. So, that's good. I also got a couple of these, these deer. If you can see that, they're so cute. They are etched. Um, three of them. I have three. One for myself, and I'm going to gift a couple. 
but here's here's something I made on a ring it's a pink one but I also have like I have different colors so there's some bunny ears I made there's some plain white ones I have shown these before but but I can't wait to start using these beautiful deer and these I can make more rattles with these um I also bought these are some charms now I did not look at these yet so I'm really curious to see like there's a whole bunch of variety in here a little spoon there's like a, whole, a huge, huge variety of little grapes, little keys. So I would love to add these onto some. I also make baby bracelets. That was actually the very first um, DIY I made back in the day was baby bracelets. And I also have... I also bought these packages of little beads. Now, actually and truly, these are a lot smaller than I thought. I thought that they would be the bigger kind, but that's okay. I, I do know how to use these in crafts. I'll just need a needle and some thread. So, and then I can make... But um, there's like a whole bunch of different, I can't wait to see all the different kinds. They are so tiny. But I'm very excited. Yay, I can do more of my crafts. Um, but I'm also happy to show you my alternative collection. And I have a lot more alternatives, you guys. So these guys, I hope that you're having a great day. I have a few chores to do before Francis comes home. I would love to make him one of my meals that he really loves. Pizza, homemade pizza. He did have some pizza in the city, but it's not exactly homemade. And I'm actually surprised that he says that my homemade pizza is better than any restaurant. So I'm very happy with that. I will be making him some. Although part of me thinks that he might want like a roast beef meal, a homemade meal, a mashed potatoes, gravy, the works. He loves that too. So I'm kind of undecisive as what to make because it's beautiful. The sun is shining. It's gorgeous outside. It's just a happy, happy vibe kind of day. And I'm very happy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, probably next week, because I'll be busy at work. <laughs> until next time, guys, take care. Love you all. Bye for now. Match hand, guys. Match hand. Love you guys. Bye.